Hey guys, I'm back with another video tutorial on WooCommerce. This is my local host installation of WordPress and WooCommerce and it has a storefront theme. So many times what happens in uh, my account page, uh, we do not want to show a few links like uh, for example, I do not offer any downloads. So I completely want to remove this downloads link here or I do not like the way it is uh, saying I want to change the downloads uh, file into uh, my files or orders into my orders or something else or there could be uh, any regional language or something like that so uh, in this video tutorial we are going to see how we can achieve this thing or we can add another extra menu link also we can see it here and uh, please uh, let me know if you want to part 2 of this uh, video tutorial in this uh, part 2 we will see how we can add content to that uh, extra added link right now it will show 404 error um, because we need to add endpoints and there are many things I am going to show it in another video uh, for this video we are going to see how we, uh, we can simply remove links or rename links or add new links okay in this my account uh, section and also guys please let me know if you do you want a video on how we can uh, allow user to upload uh, their avatar uh, their avatar their profile picture uh, by default uh, many themes or uh, do not provide the facility uh, so user are not able to upload avatar uh, from this uh, front end my account section i will show you how we can do this okay so please uh, tell me in comments and please subscribe my channel thanks for watching let's get started so uh, I'm going to functions.php file of my child theme okay I repeat I'm going to functions.php file of my child theme here it is okay so uh, to achieve our goal uh, or do our job we need one we are going to add one filter okay so it is WooCommerce account menu items that is the filter and I need one function to attach with it so I'm going to write WP lovers change my account menu links okay this is going to my function let's create it okay so this function is one argument this argument will provide us all the available menu links let's see those okay We have here okay you can say menu links okay so let us see what we have in front end right now I'm going to reload my account page here we have all the links okay so I'm going to just copy it and I'm going to remove this code and paste so you can see we have dashboard orders downloads edit address and edit account and uh, customer logout okay so let's say we do not want downloads uh, link to show user okay so let's comment this out this is for our reference only so we can see what we have uh, in menu so uh, we want to remove a downloads link okay or downloads menu item so it's an array and uh, we can unset the array so here is menu this is our array and what we want to unset here it is downloads okay so now 
we are removing downloads from this array and we need to rem uh, return this updated menu links array okay so let's see what we have now I'm going to front end and reload this page okay I have already reloaded it before recording so you can see there is no downloads here if I will comment it out you can see and reload this you can see downloads here and if I remove comments then you can see downloads is gone now uh, let's say I want to change the name of the downloads uh, URL so what I need to do is again modify error details right uh, my downloads should say my files okay and uh, let's say my okay orders only only orders there is here uh, we can say it my orders okay you can see it here and picking it from right here okay and we can convert it to my orders okay so let's here and i'm going to reload the page again and you can see my orders and my files this is how we can easily change the name of the menu URL, uh, my account menus or links and uh, we can remove them also uh, now let's add new item in area we can add Okay, I'm going to add new menu item and let's see it here. You can see it here at the bottom, new menu item. When I, I'm going to click it here, it will show me 404 page. And uh, if you want me to create another video tutorial in which I will show how to show actual content in this link, then please uh, write in comments below. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in next video. Bye-bye. Take care.